Uh, oh, don't kill me. Please, please, don't. What's up everyone, Sag here, and today I'm going to bring you the strongest yet weakest team. And what do I mean by that? So, what I try to attempt here is getting a team with like a combined stat total of less than 10-10. So, I guess less than 50-50 if you include everything. So, I wanted each pet to be lower than 10-10 in stats and see if I could beat it that way. And I figured if I won the game early enough, it could uh, definitely go in that direction for me. So, I wanted to get a game that was like longer than turn 13 was my main goal. Um, or at least up to turn 13. Because I think by the time you start hitting turns 12 and 13 teams can actually start getting pretty hard so before we get too much into this though i would like to say that i finally got a new computer oh my god and that's what we are actually um, doing my editing and recording on today now this game may look a bit old to you because actually i was moving all of my files over basically and i had this game buried deep in um in my files and i was like oh my goodness i totally forgot that i did this as you could see it's with the uh the star system so it's not that old but i had it hidden in there and i was like oh my goodness i, I can't believe i forgot about this so good thing that i got that and then um so yeah i got the computer it's been amazing so if anything sounds weird let me know might have to work out a few kinks other than that though um, and then one other thing is that Muffin was actually sick. She's doing okay now, though. We took her to the vet, and um, she's all good. We got her medicine and everything for her. Not seizures this time, so it's always something new with her. But she's good now. Um, she's been really into boxes lately, uh, which is really funny. I'm going to include some pictures of, of Muffin up there so everyone can experience them and enjoy them. Um, but no, she, she's back now, and uh, she's doing a lot better. So yeah, um, some exciting stuff. Got the new computer. Um, muffins all good now. Um, not too much really. I feel like happens to me, and I I, I sort of like it that way. I'm very fine with um, not doing the most. So, but yeah. Anyways, let's uh, let's get into this game then. Not to make that sound like that was an awful segue. I didn't I didn't know how to segue into the game. I should have just said okay. Now we're now we're talking about the game. And here we are. We actually transition into what I wanted to do pretty quickly. So the main pets that you want to use with this, I feel like, for me at least, is a vulture build. So you have vulture, you have um, deers, you have scorpions with one up, you have uh, sheeps, anything that can provide a lot of faint units as well as uh, utility. So I originally tried to use microbe a lot because it was a 1-1. One, one. Instead, I decided to go with toad because summoning builds, like other summoning builds, would just wreck me if I had microbe um, or other vulture teams. But if I have Toad, it works a bit better in my favor. I can actually get, like, equipment on my stuff, uh, one-up on Deers, uh, Melons for my Vulture. Because I would still have to put, like, Melon um, on everything when I had Micro, because I would just lose immediately to a Snipe team. It was so unfortunate. And I got so close so many times. So at the end of this video, I'm actually going to include um, the rest of my failed runs that were the closest, the, the best contenders, I'd say. Uh, they all got up to nine wins, and it was so close so many times. It was really unfortunate. But yeah, we get the build pretty early. Turn seven, that was. So we've already got the double deer, a level two toad, which is really important. You want that toad to be level two and level three as quick as you can. Um, and then we got a sheep with a melon on it, actually. So I decided that I'd get melon on it pretty early because I didn't know entirely if I was still going to go with microbe. But it's always good to have the melon on it so it doesn't get sniped. There's a lot of power inside of that, that sheep. Um, you got two four fours That does a whole lot for you. So you definitely don't want it to get sniped. Um, and then I wanted to use stuff, of course, with the lowest possible stats. So I'm not going to pick up Eagle. I'm going to try to keep it as low as possible. I mean, Eagle would be good, I guess, to probably live a couple turns. Um... But honestly, just want to roll for the Vulture. Vulture is so important with the build. 
I mean, that's basically where most, if not all, of your damage comes in. So, damn, look at that triple vulture. That's absolutely amazing. So, definitely want to pick that up. Now we can get our... Uh, we could do a level 2 vulture. This is a kind of a weird setup because we still have pug. But we should be able to get pug, uh, get rid of pug pretty soon. Either get a new, another deer, another sheep, or a scorpion. So that was the last idea that I had was scorpion one up. Um, and I thought that would do pretty well. But sometimes you just don't find it and you have to go with uh, other things. Thankfully, we won that round. We, we normally do pretty well against uh, the really big teams because, first of all, getting weakness on them is huge with vulture and then having so many different summon summons really really helps um now like i said we we get ruined by um sniping teams mostly and other summon teams but at least this time we don't have microbes so we could stand a bit more of a chance turtle kind of fucks with us too but getting a level three toad is exactly what uh we need that for because as you can see, those two, they got the melon back, but no weakness again. And we were close to losing here. Really, really close. And now we can get our melon for the toad. That's exactly what we need. And the chocolate too. Definitely need that. Basically more important than absolutely everything else. <laughs> Getting uh, weakness six times, super, super important. Especially for people who have turtle teams. So I would say our build is mostly complete. All we need to do is get um, a mushroom, preferably for our level two deer. And don't really need too much else other than the level up on uh, Vulture, because as you can see, Vulture ain't doing quite enough damage. Thankfully, we have one life left though. And getting a whole other deer and bus out of that is gonna be massive. And we can get a chili too, look at that. So chili, Chili does well, maybe make uh, breaks a melon, maybe breaks a pepper, you know, whatever, whatever we can do. Oh, and we're fighting this guy again. This time that we have the level three uh, toad, so it's not going to be any problem at all. And Vulture putting in that work. Um, they're going to nerf Vulture pretty soon. I don't know if it really needed it. I mean, I guess this is kind of like cringe or whatever. It's pretty annoying to lose to a team like this because you're like, it's like what they have combined total stats of like what 20 25 like that's not fair man um and it's technology that's all i have to say because i mean look at this guy's team this guy's team is massive and it doesn't stand a chance to our bunch of little guys just ramming ourselves into them the double bus goes crazy though chili chili with weakness along with the vulture absolutely nasty that's why uh deer was such an important part into this Level 3 Vulture, they ain't going to stand a chance anymore. We got two Level 2 Deers, Level 2 um, Sheep, Level 3 Vulture, and Level 3 Toad. A beautiful build. And we go against the same guy again. He doesn't stand a chance. Hippo, his Hippo should have been first, man. He never makes it to, to even attacking. So unfortunate. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And you know what? Have a wonderful day. But I am going to go through these last uh, few runs with you because, I mean, just look how close I was. And these were so close, so extremely close. Like this, just because my vulture dies there, I lose or I would have easily beat this guy. Easily. And that was a nine wins on turn 14, like with that build. Crazy. And then I got this one so where I was trying to use Anteater instead. Um, stats were a bit higher. And then just, I don't stand a chance. But I mean, his elephant almost kills his whole team, which is really funny. And again, nine wins, turn 16. That was crazy. And then we have this one. I really like this one. We actually had the, the scorpion here, but just didn't have enough damage. Not enough damage. They were too, too large. But yep, thank you so much for watching.